Hi, this is Angela with today's cup of tea. I know I touched upon this topic early on when I started doing these webcasts last year, but it is very, very important, and this is sort of like, I guess, part two. I don't even remember when I talked about it and if I really did, because <laughs> there have been so many topics. But what's really, really important as we are progressing on our spiritual paths, on our on our journeys up that mountain to enlightenment towards, you know, the Earth 2.0 thing. I haven't talked about that for a while. But as we do that, and as things are changing, and our world is changing, our environment's changing, the energy is changing, and more so than ever before, we are manifesting exactly what we want, exactly in the moment, almost instant, pretty much instantaneously. And the more we go, the more it's traveling more than uh, faster than the speed of thought. Many times I'm finding stuff just manifesting before it even forms the, the formal thought in my head. So what's key to that is, you know, we talk, we've talked about keeping positive thoughts, keep, keeping a positive outlook, but I'm coming back to that as a really important topic. It is really important for us to change the way, not only that we think, but also the way we speak and the words that we use. We've become so entrenched in the drama and being um, addicted to the drama, and we've released all that. But now the next step is to release our negativity, our negative words surrounding everything, our thrill, and, and yes, we did um, release the drama. And if you didn't, go back and watch the webcast on um, releasing the drama, our addiction to drama, and do that clearing. But still, we again have done this in such a great way. We have let the ego filter our perception of experience in such a wonderful way that we have become very entrenched in many negative energies and many negative attitudes and perceptions that come from the ego and the filtration through the ego. So what does that mean? Well, let's see. How many times have you talked about somebody, something, an event in a negative manner? Happens every day. I know many people who that's all they know how to talk about things. It's all they know how to have a conversation. Oh, I can't believe how terrible um, this was. I can't believe what terrible customer service I had. I can't believe, you know, I can't believe. I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe how terrible this is. Or um, people just have no idea. Or, you know, people are stupid. Or like any kind of connotation like that. Or even criticism in terms of, well, so-and-so doesn't do this this way or so-and-so insists on doing things this way and those are judgments and negative and that's negative energy being put out there also and when you say things guess what you're creating that by creating or you're putting the words to the thought and now you're actually on the road to manifesting them and so what happens is you're perpetuating you're perpetuating the world of negativity you are by saying the political system is terrible and it stinks and um, all they are out to do is to hurt us. By saying that, you're perpetuating it. By focusing energy on that and putting energy into it and getting yourself incensed by the um, disillusionment and the misrepresentation and the lying and um, all that stuff that's going on in our world powers, in our political systems and stuff by by talking about it and giving it more energy guess what you're creating it more and more so you're making it more and more of a reality so what do we do well okay it's not that we want to ignore it it's that we want to start looking at things and being able to present them to ourselves and to others and more of a positive light so first of all when we come to the understanding that everybody's individual experience is their choice for their experience, okay, so then we can stop criticizing everybody else. And I'll tell you, that's probably one of the most challenging, um, one of the most challenging things to do for many people, because all the time the ego's comparing: Am I better or worse than this person? Or do I judge this myself based on what this person is doing, or these people are doing, or what this you know place told me I should do, and how I should think? Wow, just think of all of these decisions, all of these realities that we are creating for ourselves just by allowing that perception to be filtered through by the ego. And, and you know, there are people that I know 
that I can't sit in a conversation with them for more than five or ten minutes, and then I have to like you know, and, and I constant and I'm constantly allowing the love to simply um, dissolve that negativity, and I spread it out, and it takes practice. It takes practice because we are in the habit of reacting to negativity with negativity. So, what's our first response to something? Oh, stop doing that. Stop being so negative. Okay, that's one thing. That's one way to say it. Or maybe they need to be point, made, Maybe they need to have it pointed out to them. You know, you're you're having an issue looking at things from a more positive standpoint, or um, you're having an issue uh, releasing the negative viewpoint of something. And you can say that and being constructive without criticizing the person with it, without putting judgment to it. Um, but there are people I know that that's really many people, quite a few, that all they want to do is talk about this. Oh, my my illness, my my illness, my ailment, my illness, my sickness, my limitations. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, these old bones. Oh, I can't do it. What are you doing? When you say that stuff, you're creating it. When you say, oh, the body just doesn't work the way it used to, guess what? You're creating it. When you're saying, um, you know, everything's just going to fall apart. And we're gonna be, you know, whatever. We're gonna be back like Neanderthals and all that kind of stuff. Guess what? The more we create that angst and anxiety and fear, and the more we talk about that in that perspective, the more we create it. I always talk about, and many people come to me and they say, well, you don't really talk a lot about what you've seen or if you've had any visions or if you had any understandings as to what's gonna be going on in the future. And that's because it is for me to understand from my viewpoint. It is part of my journey and not part of my message and what I'm trying to help others doing. I'm trying to help everyone else. My goal is to help everyone empower themselves and help everyone to come back to their own divinity and remember that they have all the answers within themselves. And in the process, I don't need to disempower anybody by telling them this is how it's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. This is how I see it. Every once in a while, yeah, I'll say, this is what I understand, or this is how I have seen it. And yes, it has synced up with what many others have seen in many respects. But my perspective is this. Let's just say, perhaps, the world will, is going through a huge, huge, drastic change. And say we have like some domino effect of events. I'm not saying that's what I've seen, but I'm just saying because we see this in the media and we see this in so many places so many times, so much. So say we see all that happening. So say I, I see that and I, how, what am I supposed to say? And so many people I watch and they say, oh, well, you know, just make sure you, you're packed up, make sure you have like six months of food, make sure you have this, make sure you have that. And, and what does that do? That creates this fear, that creates this anxiety, and it builds up this energy, and guess what? It starts to create that reality. So what I tell people all the time is this. I see us as having drastic change. We are going through a period of drastic change. And how you view change is how you will experience it. If you embrace change, if you release all fear and anxiety about the unknown and you know and you work on yourself to to release that to release your negative um egoic reactions to the 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 possibility of change then the easier it will be to embrace the easier we get more with more fluidity we can move forward and accept the change embrace it and have fun with it and have an exciting adventure on changing the way we live on changing the way we think and and, and commune together and have a, a planet together as part of the same organism. Sounds simple, right? Yeah, but the very first step is this. Change the way we, we talk. Change the way we react to things. Change our addiction to talking about everything from the egoic perspective with a negative tint put to it. From fear or anxiety or anger or resentment or rejection from the basis of rejection or regret and or guilt or judgment or criticism as soon as we can do that and we stop ourselves now I'm not saying that it happens overnight it's a habit so if we can stop ourselves in the midst of saying something that's negative about somebody else an event a person place or thing then we can stop and, and change our perspective on saying you know what our political system has some work to do the um, candidates in our political system have a lot of work to do. And some have good points, 
some have let you know have very personal agendas I, I mean this is just one of a bazillion things and I'm not putting any judgment behind it I'm just looking at it from how I'm seeing it now if I came to the table and said oh they're all losers they're all liars they're all like you know robots of the system and all they're out to do is 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 get for themselves you know whether or not that's their perspective why do I want to create that reality even more so food for thought so that's your homework for today today um, for this week is to catch yourself saying negative things to catch yourself and the way you propose things in a negative fashion oh this will never work or things are going to collapse or this is the stupid the way they do it or blah 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 stop yourself find the positive in the moment and change that statement into a positive statement and do that for everything within your life for yourself for others for events for places persons and things in the media in the news in the world in our society in all societies and see if that changes, starts to change the way you look at things. Try it for this week, try it for an hour, then try it for a day, then try it for a week, and then a month, and then you get into the habit, and then it becomes a lot easier. So in that, I'm running, we're running late, I'm running right into the um, clearing. This is really important. Would you like all the following without trauma, drama, or illness, without creating or recreating a situation for illustration or experience, and all with ease, grace, balance, harmony, joy, fun, excitement, adventure, humor, and bliss? Would you like it for all versions of you, all times, all places, into the ever-expanding universe to infinity and beyond? Would you like to receive all information from this download and clearing via instantaneous and comprehensive download with fully conscious understanding in the moment, version, and timeline from which it is requested? Would you like to <clears throat> receive, would you like to uh, have all of creator's truths and understandings, uh, discernments, perspectives, perceptions, and definitions that come in from these clearings and hearing, healings to replace your own, become your own for divine alignment? And would you like to offer all of this within this clearing and healing to all, to the higher selves of all ancestors and descendants, their version if they so choose to accept? And on that, would you like to dissolve, resolve, release, and clear all etheric binding agreements that allow you and require you to filter our 3D world through the ego and through the emotions of the ego, including anything that is negative, such as fear, anxiety, regret, rejection, resentment, anger, uh, guilt, judgment, and criticism um, <clears throat> to find out what the lessons were to be, you know, to complete the lessons in that via download, to get from Creator how it served us to have those, how it will serve you to be without them, and to thank all parties involved, to open the doors to apology and forgiveness to and from all parties involved, to download the feelings and understanding of and feelings of apology and forgiveness to and from all parties involved and to pull all beliefs that are related to that all negative energies that are related to that including um, I must judge I must criticize um, I can look at things and judge people from my ego's perspective my ego is allowed to judge from its perspective um, I don't know how to I don't know how to perceive things from my higher self in a more positive way. I, I only know how to look at things in a negative manner. Pull all the anxieties and fears, regrets, rejections, resentments, and anger related to that. Pull the memory and energy of that from the cellular level. Pull the related self-limiting thoughts, words, and actions from the cellular level. Transform the creator's light. Send it back to creator and close those receptors. Open new ones. Saturate the cells with the highest vibration of creator's unconditional love. And download all the teachings and understandings and on how to move forward and in a positive light to know how to filter and understand the world through your higher self and come from love at all times to download all the feelings of that and understanding of that and how to move forward that way and to download the beliefs I can perceive the world without the egos filters I know how to do that and to get all the knowledge and understanding and to know that you're worthy deserving and able to that it's possible that okay and safe too that you're ready willing and able to and you have that in your life right now and then would you like to write off as complete in the Akashic records and then heal resolve and clear the timelines in all directions to infinity with the violent platinum flame and to do that take a deep breath clear your mind be open to receive and say yes positive world and on that, I'm going to go way late today. Have a great one. We'll talk to you later in the week. This is Angela at Today's Cup of Sea.